Hello my patrons, I have another video for you guys today. So this is another flip through video for this junk journal that I made a long time ago. It's been listed on my Etsy shop for a while but I haven't had a chance to make the video for it so today's the day I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it. So um, this was made with a vintage book cover so for the so when I bought the book, I bought it because the pages were very, very old. So I can use those for the Filgo parcel ephemeras and stuff like that. So I've been still using the paper um, from the book, but I took out all the pages and I turned it into a junk journal. So hopefully this will inspire you in some way, but you can absolutely check out the link. Um, for my Etsy shop in the description box if you're interested in buying this junk journal. So this book is a very like a, it was a very religious book. I didn't really even read the book but it's just all the words and all the topics that it was talking about was very very religious. Um, so I thought that maybe people would you know not like it or some people would be upset or whatever but I still <laughs> decided to make this video for you guys um, hopefully this is something you like so the cover again this is a soft book um, like a book cover and inside I put a um, um, Japanese calligraphy paper to just cover up the inside here and then on the spine because I didn't want the spine to really like a rip easily or anything like that I used this craft paper I mean craft paper tape that I had um, that way when I bind the signatures to the spine it can you know it's not gonna rip because this uh, tape is like a coated so it has like a this um, how should I say? It has been like enhanced. It's not just a paper, even though this is a paper. Um, and as you can see, I'm just letting you know, um, in case you want to buy this, the the way this was um, bound, the way the signatures were bound to the spine is not exactly perfect. But I didn't mind. I I mean, I could have like measured and all that also but I was like let me just do it like a naturally and see what it looks like and I even left a price tag here too this one I don't know but this one was from the I guess the Goodwill the drift store because I got it from there so I just have it um, I just left it there and another thing I want to mention is that after I covered the inside of the book cover I could have like went back and like enhanced something to make sure it's like not splitting or anything but for the ed like, edges only I didn't want to use the glue sealer or anything like that um, just so that it can look a little natural and I didn't want to have the glossy stuff like around the edges although I like using Mod Podge a lot and even like this kind of like you know damage it pieces I just left it all there so um, if that if this kind of stuff bothers you this is definitely not for you this is why I'm just telling you everything in details this is just an imperfect book guys but I still did my best so hopefully you'll like it um, so this book has three different signatures and um, this one is also like decorated and stuff um, you know here and there and I added some ephemera in here too so let's see what's in here so the very first cover I mean the very first page is um, this is a book page from my pillow and couch making tutorial book and inside here because it was just boring writing here like to me it was kind of boring and I thought that maybe the buyer will feel the same so I decided to um, add this really like ugly but beautiful coffee dye um, what is this called calligraphy paper on here it's very thin so you can still see through all the pages but I still like this look so I decided to just keep it like this and this is an envelope so this is a long envelope but I bound it in the center with the rest of the pages 
and this is the fabric piece that I had and I put some um, rubber stamp there and this is a little collage um, journaling card that I made it's very like a uh, hard because I use a lot of glue hopefully you will use this to journal or anything in this journal or in any of other journals that you have um, I put little um, like a flower frame label stamp over here and this is a vintage magazine page and I decided to put this feel good message strip it says daily reminder do something for yourself so it's all about doing nice things about your like yourself you know um, that's what I've been into for a long time right now like just talking about or thinking about yourself myself because that's the most important thing although that's sometimes difficult so that's um, the basic um, how should I say like the mood that I had when I was making this notebook so just everything pretty everything nice everything that makes me feel good hopefully they make you feel good too when you look at um, these pages so this is just a uh, um, scrap of paper but very thin and because this was nice blank page I decided to put some stamps here to decorate it. It's just a one stamp, but I stamped in like many different times and different at different spots. So it kind of looks nice. I like it. And this is a very dark um, coffee dyed paper. I love it so much. I love it so much. And this is a ledger paper. I did some stamping here. And this center page is a kind of... Um, Franken page but I it's not like a super big or anything um, this side is just very stained like a coffee dyed paper like this is very dark and nice um, but I did some collaging here and there are some smaller paper scraps here you can definitely journal right here as well and that's the other side of the ledger paper I made a little tap with the fabric scrap and some um, little something on the other side of this paper and that's the magazine page I just I just really like this image this flowers it's just really nice and also because the cover was green I think that I was going for a lot of like a green stuff or plant um, like a botanical theme also um, but overall it's like a vintage and actually whatever too and I decorated the envelope just a little bit and here we have something and it's a small um, like a booklet I was making it as a booklet so I was thinking that maybe you can journal here because it's just a blank pages but you can definitely tear it apart and use it for your other like a journaling or use it for something else as well and this is the other stuff it's like this is my favorite or what you guys this yellow and this yellow here it just looks really nice I just really like that so I like seeing all different patterns and um, over here because I wanted to do something I decided to put a piece of uh, can you see this I use a special scissor the I use the coffee dyed cardstock paper scrap and then I put a little stem so maybe you can write signature to or something like that but um, when I my, when I make my journals um, I feel like like each signatures first pages are kind of like covers but you can absolutely journal here too I do that all the time or you can leave it as a you know like a really cover too and as you can see this page was folded in like this and I made a small um, hiding spot tuck spot here and I made this ephemera it's just so random I copied dyed a bunch of stuff and then I also did a collaging like a kind of like a Franken page but when I made this I was like since there are some blank pages maybe um, whoever the buyer can definitely journal over here and then um, they can also journal here they can decorate it or they can just tear it up they can make another journal with this in a completely different book so it's all up to you but I decided to keep it here it's just really nice to touch different kind of uh, paper and also um, I make a lot of different journals for my shop but I feel like 
but I feel like if I'm making a journal like this, I hope that you can experience different kinds of paper too. That's why I kind of try to include a little bit of everything in here too. And this is a, like a tuck spot, but I made the tuck spot by like a folding over a book page and I glued it here so it can be like a tube, just like an envelope that's cut off on the side. And then I decorated a little bit. And here is another journaling card for you. This is little flowers and um, butterflies. So I'm definitely going for that, like a plant, like a flower, that kind of theme. And this is one of my favorite, you guys. Isn't this beautiful? Tell me you don't like it. Tell me this is ugly. I know this is beautiful. This is, um, sadly, I looked it up like two weeks ago. Oh my goodness. So this is a, like a letter like a letter letter pad letter paper pad from Muji and the paper texture is very interesting so I was like let me copy that and see what's going on like what it looks like and then this is like one of the most beautiful like a uh, coffee dye paper I've ever made or touch it all the coffee dye paper I made with this paper came out beautifully I don't know what kind of paper this is, but the problem is they don't sell this anymore. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I was like uh, looking for a journal and stuff. So I was um, trying to figure out um, what I wanted and stuff. And I was just hanging out on the Muji website. And then I looked for it and I couldn't find it anymore, of course. Because um, I bought this like four years ago, three or four years ago. So we don't have that anymore. But it's nice. You have it. If you buy it, you have it. But I don't have it anymore. I mean, I still have some left. But I don't even know if I want to use it for coffee dyeing or not. But anyway, um, this is... Okay, I have this beautiful, beautiful art magazine. It's old magazine. And the entire book is filled with so many like uh, old stuff with beautiful patterns. So I had to use it here because it's just so beautiful so beautiful so you have it here in this journal and this is some um, coffee dyed paper really rough the surface is very rough and this is old um, book page and this is a franken page so it was made with some coffee dyed paper and some like a children's journal pages and this is actually um, Japanese calligraphy paper and I did some stamping here and this is a tissue paper so this is the very center of the book i did some decoration here as well and this folds out like this so for these little pages usually what i do is i will put another piece of like a like blank piece of paper i have a whole bunch like actually because i make journals all the time i always have them around me so i usually put random like a blank paper here um, because I guess like one like a long time ago when I was talking about this on my Instagram or somewhere somebody said that they put like a photographs and stuff but if you know I don't really use photographs in my journal but I rather like write more so they said um, you can use photographs and stuff but I don't I just make a writing spot and write on it but you can do whatever you want and I made this um, into a fold out page um, instead of like a you know cutting that where it's just instead of cutting it off because it was perfect size I decided to just you know fold it over so you can have some more writing spot and hiding spot as well and that's the other side of the beautiful vintage magazine and this is perfect I thought because this was coffee dye, this little girl is drinking something like a hot beverage, hopefully, I think. <laughs> so I decided to put it here. And then we have another side, the other side of that um, tuck spot. And this is a little booklet you can use. This is one of my favorite things that I made with this. So um, I just layered a bunch of paper and I stapled in the center so that we can have like a multiple... Um, page journaling card or you can call it I don't know little booklet you can tear it off to use in something else but I thought that um, it'd be fun to start journaling I mean 
like a journal in here. When I have more time, I do want to make more of these to use for myself. Just like right now, um, I haven't had a chance to make this for myself. I've been just making stuff for my shop. But um, yeah, you can definitely use that for whatever you want. And that's the end of the second signature. And this is the last signature. And again, the cover is um, scrapbook paper. And we have a little piece of um, floral fabric, um, fabric here. And this is a vintage magazine. I thought that this handwriting was very beautiful. And then this um, illustration also. But also, I mean, I don't really, I don't really like try to write on this kind of like a glossy surface. But you can definitely do that, or you can cover it up as well. And I have some more vintage paper here, and. This is a uh, um, like another. This is like a vintage style scrapbook paper that I had for a long time, and I decided to use it and then make a tux make a tux spot so you, I can have this little ephemera in there. And then I thought um, that this like very dark ledger paper. It used to be green, but I coffee dyed it many times, so it looks like this. It just looks like a one thing doesn't it look like that you guys i thought that it just looked like a one um like a page like it was there so i decided to just put it there and this is a coffee dyed car stock but again it was coffee dyed many times so it's like very dark and it's very intense and also it looks like <laughs> it looks like in the process of coffee dyeing this paper i kind of like uh i don't know how to say it in english like kind of like uh Squish, squish it the paper to make the wrinkle if you know the right word if you know what I'm talking about please leave a comment down below my family member just taught me but I forgot because it's hard for me to say I think if they say squish but yeah yeah that's yes sorry <laughs> that was some empty silent moment but this is um um, this is a old music sheet. It's just really nice and it's the perfect size to this journal. So of course I'm gonna use it in here, right? And um, this the center is a Franken page and I use a, a lot of different kinds of paper um, More of the ledger paper some children's book um, like a scrap and Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. And I, this is one of my favorite um scrapbook paper that I bought from the store from Tuesday morning actually and I decided to use this here as well and I decided to make a little writing spot on this busy music note and this is the other side of that um, car stock coffee dye and I have a tuck spot here and I decided to put a little ephemera I mean um, this is like a journaling card that you can buy as a like a pet from the craft store, but I decided to copy dye some of them, so I put one there, and I have a piece of feel good parcel message strip here, all the positive messages, and this magazine page folds out. This is the one with the beautiful handwriting. I wish I could write like this. This calligraphy is just beautiful. And this is the last page, so it is like a double, kind of like a double um, tuck spot. So this one, this is a coffee dyed, um, like an English grammar flash card for, I guess, children. And I coffee dyed it, and I just decided to keep it here. You can definitely make a writing spot out of it, like add something or decorate it. But I like looking at like a, I just like looking at it like this just as it is so I just did the corner rounder and then I kept it in here and then um, using some other coffee dyed scrapbook paper I made another um, tuck spot here so this is just a piece of paper so you can have like a write something but let me take this out so this is another um, like a little I guess writing the journaling card that I made so I thought that you can write here right here or you can even decorate it with stickers and washi tapes and stuff so something different you know you can try out 
or I could try out. I tried out making those and I had fun. So this is very imperfect journal. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Um, again, if you're interested, you can definitely check the link down below. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye!